And finally, the final circle of these concentric circles of compassion going ever outward uh, to the whole world. And the Chinese were doing this before they knew how vast the world is. But our world is vast, but we see uh, now we're all living close, cheek by jowl, joined together on the World Wide Web. Uh, we can't, when we're intertwined uh, as never before, when markets fall in one part of the world, stocks plummet all around the globe that day, and we all face the same environmental danger. And yet, what we're doing is moving into little denominational ghettos. Uh, we, do it, we did it in religion when we started finding out that other people's religions were not as stupid as we thought. Um, you know, what? Muslims run around a building. What, what, are the, what on earth have they got in there? Now we know that what these rituals mean. And the more we realize that the uh, unanimity, the similarity between the faiths, the more some people retreat into particularism because they want to be special. And it's the same with Brexit, um, with, with uh, other uh, leaders that we could speak of. Um, and um, that, that, but this is a world that the world cannot survive if we go on like this. So scripture is really speaking to us now. And it's up to us to treat the art of scripture with inventiveness, with the knowledge that we do not know what God is, that God is infinite, infinitely beyond us, and not create an idol for ourselves that terrify children or, uh, or fill us with self-importance because God loves us and not other people. Um, and I, I'd like, so I'd like to end on, really end now, I will, uh, with uh, Ibn Arabi, whom I mentioned earlier, because I found, I, when I first read this text, I was so impressed by it, I wrote it out and pinned it on my bulletin board so that I could see it all the time. Uh, he's a Sufi, and Sufis had an outstanding appreciation of, the, of other faiths. Uh, but it's about, he's also warning us against ego and, and our attitude to other people's scriptures, too, comes into this. It's not only our scriptures that are good. Others, all scriptures have immense power within them. So here's what he says. Do not praise your own faith so exclusively that you disbelieve all the rest. If you do this, you will miss much good. Nay, you'll fail to appreciate the real truth of the matter. God, the omniscient and omnipotent, cannot be confined to any one creed. For he says in the Quran, wheresoever ye turn, there is the face of Allah. Everybody praises what he knows. His God is his own creature. And in praising it, he praises himself. Consequently, he blames the beliefs of others which he would not do if he were just, but his dislike is based on ignorance. Thank you.